steering group has co-chairs because we wanted to really reflect the partnership that comes from Te Tiriti or Waitangi. Our important starting point for national culture is the treaty. So what we think of as national culture in this country is based on that foundational relationship that the treaty expresses, which is then overlaid by a lot of other kinds of cultural investment or cultural appropriations, you might call it that. So we're trying not to define it too closely because once you do that, you shrink it into a box, but to take a broad view, always thinking about the role that the treaty plays in the expression of what it means to live in this place and who we are who live in this place. One of the places that I think you can see a very real kind of New Zealandness is in our humour. I'm always interested in humour as an expression of a society and you can see, for example, in The Flight of the Concords or that recent film, The Hunt of the Wilder People, some very loved New Zealand stereotypes, which I think are cross-cultural, coming into play. So one of the initiatives from our theme is to set up Treaty of Waitangi fellowships. And so we have scholars from the law school, literature and classics who are going to be working on a particular project to enrich national culture and then writing back, if you like, to their discipline, producing a bibliography for that discipline about areas related to the treaty and that connect with the kind of key works of that discipline. I think staff are really keen to engage with people in a range of faculties and really create some exciting interdisciplinary research around enriching national culture because you come at it from all of these different angles. Victoria University is really the prime location for the study of national culture, partly because we live in the capital city and so we have all the institutions like Te Papa where we are now and the National Library and Archives. We have all the documentary and record institutions here. But we also have, a, as a university, a very long history of scholars who have worked on national culture. So if you go back to JC Beaglehole, who wrote the history of Cook, some of the great Māori scholars, Sir Peter Buck, Sydney Mokor Mead, lots, lots of people at Victoria have worked on the big questions of national culture. So we have a institutional history to draw on as well as the capital city resources to draw on.